Hello everyone, Pastor Lon here, my beautiful wife, Robbie Lynn. I welcome y'all back to our next Come Sit a Spell. What y'all laughing at? As soon as you started grabbing sneeze. Grabbing sneeze. That'd be all right. Gavin and Corey's in the background here eating some supper. But, um, and Robbie Lynn and I are... Drinking Russian tea. Drinking Russian tea. How about that? Y'all let us know in the comments below if y'all ever tried Russian tea. This is our first time trying. First time ever, and it's delicious. Delicious. I like the um orange flavor to it. Yeah, I do too. I honestly forgot what I put in it. <laughs> hey, it's good. Oh, tea. Uh, that's good. We ain't <laughs> called Russian tea. And tang. Tang. What else? I cannot remember. I'll have to look it up. Yeah. If anybody it's, wants the recipe, I'll, I can put it. Yeah, or well, might just put it in the description below anyway yeah. if you come up with it. But, but it's good. This is the um, powdered version. There's a liquid version. I got that recipe, and then there's a powder Where'd version. you get it from? Oh, oh, you know what? I think I got it from Art and Bree's channel. Okay. I watched her do it, her and her mom, but they did a liquid version, and she had a recipe for the pow The liquid version, you would cook it on the stove, and it would be like, kind of like, what is that Shalene told us about? That oh, I could, something, yeah, wa I could wassail that. or some kind of tick. Something. Some kind of beverage that you do in the, I uh, think she said in the crock pot. I've heard of it, but this is this is the dry version. You just yeah, this is put it in hot good. water. But anyway, we wanted to uh, spend a little bit of time with y'all before Christmas. We have Christmas coming up this Sunday. Um, we're having our regular church service on Jesus' birthday, or when we recognize his birthday. Um, Sunday morning, 10 a.m. service, like normal. Cold. It's gonna be cold. It'll be like 18 degrees here. 16, 18 degrees. I think Friday night is 16. Then Saturday night is 17, maybe. And anyway, it's gonna be 16, 17, 18, like 20. It's gonna warm up to 25. Four or five days, it's gonna be in the teens. Yeah. But hey, it's January. I'm January. It's December. <laughs> it ain't January yet. It's December, Christmas time, and I love it. We, I like it when it's cold. I mean, I hate Christmas that there's going to be people out in the cold. That yeah, we can't. need to pray for those people. And there's some uh, facilities around here in Darlington uh, County where they're, they're opening, um, up, opening up shelters for, for to keep them warm to keep and them they're going to feed them and give them something to eat. So that's a good thing. That's the only thing I hate about it because there's some people who don't have homeless warmth, out but, in the street. But yep. this season, during the season, I love it. But yeah, cold. just be praying for those people that are less fortunate than we are. They'll have a cold, uh, we'll have a cold night. They'll be warm somewhere and have some food in their belly. Yeah, and like Gavin just said, which we were going to talk about, he said, and take care of your animals too, your pets, because a lot of people forget about them. They do, and what we're going to do here is the temperatures. Um, you should not be leaving your animals out. No. I See, mean, of course, your farm animals, you can't bring them in. But no, but you can make preparation right, like yeah. we've been doing. been putting straw out for them today, um, moving some things doing. around, make sure they got, um, maybe have to uh, fix some places where to keep the wind off of them, block up some of the airways, been doing stuff like that. Well, we done was t I took my two pregnant Nigerians from, from over here on one side and, and brought them in with all the rest of them and put it in. Um, separate styles and put the straw and stuff. Because like they gonna have those babies. Anything. We don't really know exactly what time, but they will have the babies sometime between now and first of the year. But it could be during this cold spell. I hope it's not. But I hope it's not. Nine either. times out of ten, that's when they do have them. But either way, we got straw down, got them in their own stall, and, and we and we got the there. lamps where we can put the heat lamp on them if they have the babies during the cold. So yeah, they had them around this time last time. Last they time always of the like year, to have them time. in the coldest part. You remember, Corey? We went out there and bought them in the house and warmed them up. Yeah, one year. So and then yeah. yeah, and then but far as our our dogs, well, Eli and Dutch Dutch, they always stay in here anyway. But what we're gonna do on those couple of nights when it's down in the teens, we're gonna put Sadie and Cooper will be in. Yeah, here. Sadie will be in here. She can just stay in the house like the other two. And but Cooper, can't be he, trusted. he don't have good house manners yet. He's going he to stay. He can't control in a, his bladder. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna put him in his kennel, so he don't uh, do something he shouldn't do. He might, hey, not just with his uh, <laughs> not being able to control himself, but he might try to chew up some uh, Christmas presents too. Well, that's why I don't have presents under the tree now because of Willow. Yeah, where is Willow? She's around here somewhere, and I, I don't know if she'll. 
what she'll do with the presents. So I haven't brought them in here. I got them out in the back shed, back yeah. barn. So anyway, that's a lot of what station. we. Yeah, wrapping stuff. That's what we had going on. What's um, that, honey boys? Their tickle box has turned over in there. Cause he wants so much. What's in that chicken y'all eating in there? Hello, good kitty kitty. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. There's Willow. Bad girl. That's the little kitty y'all Robbie was asking about the other night that ran out of the uh, the island there when she was moving stuff around. That's a spoiled little cat. Yep. But um yeah, been make sure the animals taken care of and um batting down the hatches. We gotta work on the water tomorrow. Make sure everything's Yeah, I make sure I got most of all the spigots um uh, wrap, but a lot of them I got cutoffs on them where I can cut the water off to them. I'm gonna fill up everything that needs water in the in the pastures and the and the stalls and stuff. But I can turn the water off and drain this drain the line and don't want to worry about it freezing on all except for one spigot outside. That's the one right behind the house. So I'll I'm gonna take care of that one. I'll get that one wrapped up and uh, keep them the, plenty of hay the in there with the cows. Is, he's out of work. Yeah, I'm off work now till Tuesday after Christmas. And we can get get all that stuff done yeah. during the daytime when Plus it's I not like 17 I, I like, or 16. I like, I like or being 10. home with, with mama as much as I can. But yeah, I like being able to be here when it's that cold during the day or night so we can make sure everything's taken care of together. Also, when out there, our rabbits, yeah. we had to take and put some plywood up behind them where we keep the, usually keep do the that off of them. Winter. We do. Um, probably might put some wheat straw or some hay in there with them too before it, that cold snap hits. Yeah. But um, let's see what else? Oh well, kind of just kind of catching up with them. We didn't get the um, we didn't get to record. Well, they did record, but I didn't put it on. I didn't put any of it on here. No, I'm talking. Well, that too. Bradley went shopping. Uh, what Monday night? Yeah. We took Bradley shopping, but I hadn't been able to get the video was edited. It and it was Monday night, edited and uploaded yeah. yet. And then also we had our Christmas play Sunday night at church. We shared some of that on there, didn't we? Not on YouTube, I had. The singing you did. You, the singing we shared was at the point set okay. service. I hadn't put anything on the channel about the uh, Christmas play. I might try to put a few, a few of the scenes on there, but I didn't record any of them, so I'd have to get them for somebody else. But anyway, we had our Christmas play. Um, it went over very well. And then... Like I said, we took Bradley shopping Sunday night, and Monday night we took Bradley shopping, and that's some pretty good footage. Y'all probably like enjoy that, and then I hope I'm able to do some footage of him at my brother's house on Christmas Day, and at your mama's house on Christmas Eve, right? It's so crazy right now. I don't know if you'll get any of that or not. Giving out gifts and stuff, but if I can, I will. There's so many kids running around. Well, well, last year, but I got some of it. I might not get the whole thing, of course. There's so many we're, of them. We're trying to decide which book he's going to read to y'all this year. Yeah, we're going to let him read a book to y'all. I don't know which one yet. But everybody said they wanted to see him shopping and giving out some gifts, and they always like hearing him read. So He can either read a book or sing 12 Days of Christmas to him. <laughs> yep. Or quote the uh, Twas the Night Before Christmas. He did that last yeah, year. I know he did, but I love to hear him say it. It's amazing, y'all. He knows that whole story. He don't even have to have the book in his hand. He memorized it, every word, and every word on point. But, um, and y'all seen on some of the videos we've shared with you this week where Robin has been cranking out the goodies, the uh, Rolo stuffed uh, crackers, Ritz crackers, the pecan praline goodies, and... Next one's going to be Christmas crack. Yep, Christmas crack. <laughs> Going to work on that next. So. <laughs> Stay tuned for that. Um, Some people call it brickle. Yeah. And uh, what? I don't know. We do it Christmas Eve or whenever, but we're going to uh, pass a friend of ours down for the hard way. He sells um, fireworks. I talked to him tonight, and we're going to get some fireworks from him either tomorrow or this weekend. Sometime or another, go get some. Probably tomorrow. Get some um, fireworks from him, so we can have those for the family. I, it'd be cold, but hey, we're gonna be out there. We can watch from the road while you do it. 
We How call it the pop, house window. Yeah, pop it while you're outside. Some people call it popping fireworks. Some people call it busting fireworks. Y'all let me know what y'all call fireworks. it. Shooting fireworks. Yeah. I've never called it her busting fireworks. Oh yeah, I've heard plenty of people say busting fireworks, shooting fireworks. I've always called it uh, popping fireworks right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but y'all let us know what y'all call it in your area if you uh, pop, shoot, or bust fireworks. Set them off. Set them off. But what else we got being, uh, going on right here, Robin Lynn? I'm um, sitting here waiting to eat my pony cornbread. <laughs> well, yeah, she made some cornbread because her mama brought us a big bowl of vegetable soup to church. And um, I took her some pecans and she bought me some soup. That's a good bartering, tra bartering trade right there. She called me and asked me if I had, well, she knew I had some pecans because I had yeah. wore my fingers out, cranking them out. And, uh, she says she needed two two cups. She had already, she went and bought two or two and a half cups. And she says she, she, I paid two, $10 for them things. Yeah. I said, okay, I got some. And she told me to bring her two cups. And I and I had a bag that I had used some out of. And it was, I measured and it was a little oh. bit over two cups. I took it to her. She said, you didn't mean to bring me but two cups, did you? Hey, that's what she asked for. <laughs> I said, well, that's what was left in the bag. So that's what I bought. Something else, y'all let us know in y'all's area if you have any pecan trees. But around here, around in South Carolina, everybody I've talked to in our area here have had a bumper crop of a pecans. Now, some people call them pecans, but we call them pecans here in, in our neck of the woods. But they, everybody I talked to said they got more pecans than they can pick well, I think up. I think I sell about, what, 20 pounds? A lot of them. Between what we got from Carver's up there in um, Tennessee, and then my daddy gave you a, a good many like of Like three or four grocery bags. Yeah. And she I shelled think I every got one of them. two pounds out of the first batch, and then almost, not quite, two pounds out of the other one. That was a lot of pecan shelling. I say pounds, gallons, I meant. Yeah. Gallon but, bags. And with the cold coming, we're going to, um, of course, we got a gas back here that we heat with, but uh, as long as electricity stays on. But also the fireplace, we have it cranking all weekend. Um, we have to do stuff like leave the, I like like the church. We have to leave the heat on at the church, and I probably turn some of the water off going into the church so we don't bust the pipes up there. Because hey, here in the south, we're not used to sixteen degree temperatures. I mean, not for that many. Days Brother right? Roland, I probably watched this and said, "Man, y'all just little wimps down there in South Carolina." But hey, we're not used to it. Uh, that we're not equipped for it. Especially if you get a lot of snow. I wish we would get some snow. They were calling for a white Christmas here a couple Bust, a week ago, but now they didn't change it. It's just going to be cold. No white Christmas, what they say. So it don't matter as long as we got family we did together. We did get some sleep yesterday. We did. We were sleeping yesterday. Yeah. Um, as long as we got family and got one another and family time together, fellowship, we, we enjoy exchanging a few gifts. But to us, you can, might not say that about all of our family, but to us, um, just to get together and have a meal. Yes, yeah, just to have time of fellowship, have a good sit meal. Sit down, just sit down and do Relax. nothing and then talk. Be like it was I was sharing that at church about um, how it used to be since we were little. You just went to your grandparents and you hung out there all day and everybody just, you know, chewed the fat and opened presents and had a meal and good fellowship and just wasn't in a rush seemed like back then. But now everything's so fast paced, man. It's, it's just nice when you just go and, and nobody expect anything. Nobody expects anything out of you. Just yeah. Just to feel Just enjoy show. the time. Yep. You know, that song Alabama's uh, uh rushing, rushing till life's no fun. Almost that that's the title of it, but that's the lyric in it. And a lot of truth in there. A lot of people rush, rush, rush and uh, they miss out on the real meaning of Christmas. And of course, it's Jesus Christ, the birth of Christ, but the family time because you know, nobody's promised tomorrow. You better get busy. Are you I know, like man. That? I, I asked some good stuff that Russian tea. <clears throat> One other thing, I'm gonna do a little short video on it. We got Robin and we got him up here on the on the uh wall up here in the between the kitchen and the living room here. But I've been getting a lot of Christmas cards from a lot of you guys. And we really appreciate that. Um, I got another one tonight at church. Did you? It's in my pocketbook. We get some of them from church, family, some Willow. people, friends, and family right here in the community. But a lot of them, or most of them, is from our YouTube family, from all over the place. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a little short video of all of them. I'm gonna give it another couple of days, maybe, maybe wait to after Christmas. We're gonna still have them up. 
um, just in case we get a few more come in. Definitely, I'm going to keep everything up. Yeah. Probably till Valentine's Day. <laughs> well, not quite that long. But anyway, I'm going to do a little short video. I'll take that. And I want you to let us off and put hearts on the tree. On the, whatever, whenever I do that video, I want you to, um, I will give you the opportunity to let me know if you see your card that you sent to us on the hanging up on the wall. But that'd be in a different video from this one. But, uh, yeah, we showed them on that, the Robin Lynn's early Christmas present of the island and the faucet being installed. That was something we've been really, she'd been wanting that for a while and I was glad I was able to get that for her. And, and as I told y'all, I've been, bur I had the battle of vertigo last Friday, man. That was, that was terrible. But she's right there. She waited on me hand and foot, took care of me and gave me the, essential oils I needed and put that eucalyptus in that pot on the stove and I put that um, uh, hand towel or whatever over my head and started breathing that in along with all the nasal spray she's got. It's all natural. Um, breathing that uh, pepper, peppermint. But it, uh, it, took, it, it took, took it away after about, I, I suffered with it from about 5 a.m. Friday morning, last Friday morning to about Three or three thirty is when it really started easing. Tell them up. what really helped you the most. You told me the nasal spray. Yeah, olive leaf. Oh yeah, that's what I said. That nasal spray I was using that really helped more than anything. When I started shooting that up, my nose it started really breaking everything up. See what happened? Having to put that hay out for the cows and the uh, goats and stuff. That's what happened. Hard well, no, but I, even when I use a mask, I had to get a different mask to, to try it when we when we done it today. But between that and we had play practice in that um, fogging machine that my sister in law she probably watched this video her little hard head self. <laughs> no, I'm just picking, but uh, she had to we had to fog her to be realistic with Jesus coming out of the tomb and all because we done the whole play from birth to resurrection. But um. That that smoke that fog that come that smoke coming out that fog messed me up, boy. And I and that was Friday. And then we had to play Sunday night, so the fog was back. And it, I, but this time the difference was before I didn't think it was gonna get me that bad, so I didn't do any of the nasal spray. I didn't do anything. Once I I experienced that fog again, I came straight home and started spraying that um, nasal spray, breathing that uh, those essential oils that Robin Lynn keeps around here all the time. That's like these candles you got burning in here make it smell so good. I, I don't know if that helps with that kind of stuff, but boy, they sure smell good. What are you looking at? He can't hear. He's got his ears in. Oh. He's got his ears in. I mean, his... He's got his ears in. Earbuds or earbuds or whatever they call them. Earbuds, earbuds. Airpods? Airpods. See that? We don't use them things. We don't know what they call them. I got to say something sticking in my ear all the time. No way. They shouldn't have any, the generation today shouldn't have any issues when they get old and have to get a hearing aid because they got something stuck in the ear all the time. Brad is really excited about Christmas, man. That's all he talks about is giving everybody their gifts. And Now that I have taken him shopping, now he's wanting to know, when are you going to wrap my presents? Every day. Put them up under my tree. This is my tree over here. Most, see, we got this tree and then we got another little tree over there in the corner for oh, Brad. skinny tree. Or whatever. A skinny tree. He... That's where we put all his gifts, and he'll go by there, go into the bathroom, he'll reach that foot over there, because he can't see. He'll reach that foot over there and see if there's any gifts, and he'll feel it and say, Mama, you got to wrap my gifts for and Christmas Eve. once I wrap Eve. them, he'll be over there every day reading, reading them, them yep. and putting them in his mental bank, knows, he knows exactly where He's, everybody he, he puts them. He puts them where he knows where they are. Yeah. Yep. But, yeah, Christmas time, special time of the year, and, like I said, doing all the, you mainly doing all the cooking and baking and we're gonna, the house. Ooh, we got to fry a turkey. Well, that means we got to get it out the freezer. Yeah, we do. We need to take the turkey out of it or not. I forgot about it. But it just makes the house feel so, uh, smell so much better. feels warm and cozy in here. And the aroma going through here when she's cooking and baking. and You just can't beat it. Can't beat it. But right now, it smells like cornbread. I love cornbread. I know. And my stomach wants it. Yeah. That cornbread vegetable soup, and we're about to. Well, you don't. You finish. She finished her Russian tea. I got just a little bit left. He talks. I've been too talking much. too much. But y'all, uh, she will get the ingredients of this and leave it in the um, comments. I mean the uh, description. I can't even remember that word. Description below, 
And uh, if y'all want to try it, let us know how it goes. A lot of them on here I see where they've been commenting about. I'm going to try to candy the goodies you've been making. So, And when she does the other one, the Christmas crack will be, I don't even sound right, but that's what it's called. Brittle, brickle, yeah. whatever, I don't know. Well, it is. It will be brickle. I thought it was like peanut brittle. No. <clears throat> well, see how much I know. It's going to have sauce <clears throat> on the grits on the bottom, and then like a caramel, and then chocolate, and then you can decorate with candies and stiffer stuff. Okay. And you break it, it's crack it up. You crack it all up, and then. And that's where you got his yeah. name from. I guess that's where the crack came from. Hmm. But I'm going to um, be doing some um, chocolate cocoa bomb. Mm. Tell them about the little things you made um, for the, the cocoa balls and what happened to some of those. Three of them. We went, well, tell them the what church. they are. What you, what you make? You put chocolate on the outside? I know y'all have heard of hot cocoa bombs. Most people so have. Everybody the they, you mold, put the chocolate in the mold and, make, and put the hot chocolate inside and marshmallows and you close it together. And then when you put it in the hot milk or water or whatever, it just opens up and makes, that's your hot chocolate. But we came home from church one Sunday oh, and three of them were missing. And I looked in here on my rug and I saw hot chocolate. And we found out who the culprit was. Eli. Eli. He got up on the, not got up, but reached up on the to. bar. He's tall enough, He's tall enough, he enough just... and he got him down. And... But I didn't think he would bother. Look A cocoa He's touching under that tree right now. Yep, Barry's over there feeling under the tree now. Came out of his room. <laughs> But, but he did. He likes chocolate. Eli does, and and we don't give him chocolate, of course. Because Dolly ain't supposed to have chocolate. No, because one one night we came home and Corey had left some in his room, and he was in his room, and there was like three candy bar Hershey bar wrappers. Mm -hmm. And Lord, we panicked, so we had to call the vet. The vet went in, so we had they sent us to an emergency vet. We called them, and then we had to call poison. He sent they sent us to poison control. Mm -hmm. We had to pay a fee before poison control would even talk to us. <laughs> But they figured out with his body weight and stuff that he, he didn't need enough, enough to, yeah. to do any harm. But Thank goodness. Now we know. Yeah. Have we talked to him the last time? We let him know since you got the little book. You got, I told him we were going to get the little book. Mm -mm. Uh, we haven't had to come see the spell since we got him. Because we just got him last week. Anyway. Was that last week? Yeah. I think so. I don't know. Anyway, we got another uh, Nigerian book. Nigerian dwarf. Book. Yeah. But he's pretty. He's like gray and black. Gray and white and black. Yeah. He's got a few dots, uh, round dots of brown, light brown. What was your name? Blue eyes. I hadn't named him. Yeah. I think, yeah. So might, we'll show a picture and hit, get some help naming him. Yeah. Which is something else we're going to do in a little show. I'm naming Rolo. <laughs> something else we're going to do in a video, if they don't have them before I can get it recorded, is. A uh, little bit, and Hershey are both pregnant, and they are big time pregnant. Um, I want y'all to guess on how many babies you think each one of them's gonna have. And uh, they big, they are really big. When we moved, I didn't realize how big the words. I went and moved them, they especially when they pick uh, a little bit up. Yeah, I kind of tilted it over. Was, yeah, he was. Rob was like, what, what, what are you doing? doing? But, I thought he was following, and he was following. I was, she was so heavy. <laughs> But we, I picked them both up, put them in the back of my truck, and I got that camper shell on the back of it. And we, that's how we took them over to the, um, to the other pen where their new stalls are. But they seem to be liking it, especially at Hershey's. You all bedded down a while ago when I checked her. But just take care of your animals. Make sure they're um, nice and warm and cozy, whether it's your pet dogs, cats, or whatever, or farm animals. Check on your elderly neighbors. Check on the elderly neighbors. Um, take your pipes and stuff at your own house, either get them wrapped good or, or, um, do like I'm going to do on a lot of them, cut, cut off and drain them. So you don't have to worry about them. I'm going to, like I said, fill up everything that needs water. Probably out of breaking ice so they can drink anyway. I remember those days when I was a little boy, but you don't have to do that very much anymore. But we're going to have to do it this coming weekend. Mm -hmm. Right and bust the ice so they can get water. I remember when we had, I uh, stayed home, my daddy had those, Deer dogs, hunting dogs, and uh, hounds, and they'd be 
you go out there to bust the water and they'd be trying to, they'd have a hole down there where they, where they were trying to get it, lick in it and breathe on it. And they barely, because it wouldn't be froze solid, but they'd, they'd have to get through that top layer of ice to get some water. Who was that I heard or saw? Somebody talking about the chickens that you have to bust their water definitely. Yeah. But like for the um, sheep or goats or something like that, they can lick the ice. Yeah. Yeah. Chickens can't lick. We have them get our sheep. Get some, I don't know if it'll be between now and the end of the year or not, but hopefully we're going to get them soon, barring some <laughs> cows for they'll, some They'll be sheep. the first to see them. Yep, we'll let y'all know as soon as we get them. But anyway, we're going to wrap this up. We just want to spend a little time with y'all before Christmas, and we hope y'all have a Merry Christmas, and the ones that we did, we might not get to talk with between now and then. A Happy New Year. Uh, 2023 is coming in a hurry, and believe it or not, Christmas is already here. Ain't that crazy? But... Anything you want to add about Christmas season? I don't think so. Other than, like we said, cherish the moment with your family. Make sure you uh, you celebrate the main reason, which is the birth of Jesus Christ. But spend good time, quality time with your family members this year. Because uh, there's some family right now that's going to celebrate Christmas this year that had family with them last year. Um, and they're not here this year. No, Shalene Smith's one of them. Ronnie Smith passed away. In the end of January last year. Um, this year. Yeah, actually this year, 2022. But he was with us last Christmas. And um, he's not here now. But according to his testimony in the life he lived, we, we, we're very confident where he's at uh, spending Christmas at this year in heaven. So continue to remember the Smith family in your prayers and each, each and every other person that's lost a loved one that's not with them this year at Christmas time. So we're going to... As, who was that? I can't remember how he said it. But a lot of people probably remember Walter Cronkite on the evening news. If y'all remember Walter Cronkite, you let me know. Um, that's the way it is on this such and such time, such and such date. I used to love to listen to Walter Cronkite tell the news. But hope y'all have a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Take care of one another. And until next time, remember. Jesus Christ loves you, and Jesus Christ is the answer for any and everything we're dealing with in life. Hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day, and again, a Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.